Hey look, it's raining and we're at the beautiful Broadmoor. Enjoy every moment that you can. Good day YouTube. Today I want to talk about probably the most important topic I can come up with. If I were to ask you a question, can you take care of yourself mentally, physically, spiritually, or does somebody else have to do that for you? The answer should be, you should be able to do that, whether that's on a scale of 1 through 10, 10 being great, you're on track on all of those and you're doing them, or the answer is I'm a 4 right now, there's room for improvement, which is most of us, but I can do it. I'm going to challenge you to do that where you take care of yourself first as an individual and by doing so you can take care of your loved ones whether it's your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, children, whoever that may be because I truly believe that nobody can take care of ourselves better than we can take care of ourselves and that's something that I'll, I'll give you my example is if I can take care of myself mentally physically, spiritually, where I get my rest, where I'm in a good mood, I'm going to be better with my family because they can't do that for me. That's my opinion and I truly believe that. I took a course three weeks ago for the Air Force, five full days. It's called Master Resiliency Training and it is taking care of people by teaching them. That's what I'm going to be. I have a special experience indicator now, SEI, for the rest of my career in the Air Force, when somebody looks at my record, they're going to say, hey, this guy has the SEI for Master Resiliency Trainer, which is something that goes back to taking care of people in my civilian job and my HR background, which is what I love to do. I love to teach people. And one of the things that I like to talk about is I'd rather teach someone how to fish than give them a fish. So now what I want to share with you are some of the notes because I have this great book that I'm going to use to facilitate and teach others at my base here where I am now and hopefully in other bases in the future as well. But let's begin with this. Think of it mental, physical, social, spiritual. Those are four tenets that the Air Force has. The mental part involves awareness. Are you aware of yourself, of where you are today? Positive, negative. Decision making. When you make your decisions, do you think about them or do you just snap out a decision whether it's right or wrong? Are you able to adapt to a situation both positive and negative? And are you positive or are you negative thinker? Positive thinking, negative thinking. Before I talk about the other three, let me talk about something. I made a video a few months ago about resiliency, which is being able to come back to your original form after a stressor. When I talk about that, maybe some people may think, well, that could be death, that could be you lose your job. Yes, it could be. Those are big things. But you would be surprised at what I have to do daily because of the small stressors. Those small stressors, think of those as cockroaches, annoying cockroaches in your kitchen at home. and. Hopefully you have no idea what I'm talking about when I talk about that, but when I was growing up in the big city of Los Angeles in an apartment, that was my reality. To me, that's annoying. And now let's bring that into the stressors that we may have today. It's those small ones. It could be traffic. It could be you're running late. It could be your boss. Whether it's big or small, I like the idea of squashing those small stressors immediately. And that's going to be on the mental decision making. Are you aware that those small stressors add up to make a big one? If the answer is no, think about that now and make some changes where you need to make changes. I have to do that every single day or every week for sure. I have to go home on Fridays, 76 miles through Denver, through Denver traffic, through Colorado Springs traffic, and it's not good. But I already know what's coming, so I have to adapt to that. So when my wife goes, hey, how was your week? Great. How was your drive today? I don't want to sound like that broken record. Oh, this guy is just always negative about the traffic. I already know it's going to be negative. I have to prepare myself. And the drive was great. I'm happy it's Friday. I'm home for the weekend. Next is physical. I love this one. I love them all. But because 
to me, I made a video when I was at Fort Carson, maybe a year and a half ago, about physical fitness, about your health being priceless. Very important. Nobody can do that for you. You could be multi-millionaire. You could be very old, but you can't buy health. You, if that 80-year-old, you ask that person, what do you wish you could do right now if you can change something? He or she may say, I wish I was 25 years old so I can be healthy. Take care of your health. It's the best vehicle that you will ever drive. That's your body. Next is social. Are you connected with people? Do you like to deal with people? Yes or no? I've made a video about that as well. For me, anytime I have a challenge, I need to vent. And that's just one of the tools, how I deal with it. That could be a good friend that's going to be a, provide a good ear and say, hey, here's what I would do if I were you. I think you were right this time. I think you were wrong this time. Teamwork. That social connectedness is, do you have a solid team around you? If the answer is yes, great. That could be at home, your family. That could be your, your family back at your home state if you're in the military and you're away from home. That could be your teamwork at work, your team at work. So to me, those are three very important things. The next one is spiritual. This one could be a little controversial for some people. Can They, they could think automatically religion, but here's what I learned through my course is what are your values where do they come from and are you on track with your values what's your perspective on your life what's important to you those are some things to think about as i go through the chapters here i can't go through all of them but some things to think about which i love here is gratitude i did a survey and the survey had uh, several questions. I think it was 100 questions. It's an inventory to see what is important to me. The first time I took that survey was in February. The second time was just a few weeks ago for this class. Gratitude was something that came up to me. The first time I took it, it was number one out of 20 strengths. The second one, the second inventory, gratitude was rated number two. And these inventories are going to change depending on what's on our mind. Mindfulness. I was at a barbecue a few days ago with my family and I was meeting new people. Mindfulness is being able to introduce yourself to someone, they tell you their name, and 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes later you remember their name. The opposite of that is they tell you your name, two minutes later you have no idea what their name is because you're just going through the motions. Be aware mindfulness of your moment, of your situation, of your conversation. A lot of us have goals. What are your goals, your personal goals in life? It could be just to go for a walk and do that. It could be peace of mind. It could be whatever it is in your life. I've talked about strengths as well. That's the next thing. Capitalize on your strengths. If I were to ask you to tell me about yourself, you should be able to rattle off your strengths, who you are, what you're about, in 30 seconds to one minute. At the same time, you should know what your weaknesses are. Be aware of that and how you can turn those by working at them into strengths. Acceptance is the next thing. Do you accept yourself before you accept others? That's a powerful question in my opinion because I think we have to accept ourselves. Sometimes we can see the talent, the strengths, the blessings in other people, but that person may not see it in himself or herself. If that's the case, I challenge that individual to think differently. Balance your thinking is another great one. This is about once a year I have to take my PT test, physical training test for the Air Force, even though I work out every single week because I need it. Remember I talked about that physical portion? Balance your thinking is catching yourself when you need to because you have some type of doubt or challenge that you're thinking about. Two weeks ago, I did my PT test. I scored in the 90s or above, for between 90 and 96, 97 every single year, which means I get to take that test once a year as opposed to twice every six months. I don't want to do it every six months, even though I work out. When I do it for the Air Force, I am a little bit stressed, concerned, worried, doubtful. Well, because I took this class a few weeks ago, I said I'm going to balance my thinking, which means catch that and you have to put an end to that. So I took my test a few weeks ago on a Monday. That Sunday night before, at about 5 p.m., 
what do you think I was thinking about? Yes, I was a little bit stressed about that PT test and I caught myself because I've been trained now. These are some of the topics that I'm going to talk about when I teach this class. Here's my book, Master Resiliency Training. If you are Air Force, there are MRTs, Master Resiliency Trainers, at your base. Find out where they are. I'm going to be able to teach at FTEC, First Term Airman Center, maybe Airman and Family Readiness Center in the future. Don't know, but I'll be able to teach this. I'll be able to teach this at my job as well during wingman days. I'm a positive person. I'm not a perfect person, but the question is when you come across a challenge, whether it's traffic or death, anything in between that, how do you deal with it? Who's your support system? How do you think about that? Important video in my opinion. Hope you enjoyed it. I asked a lot of questions, but those questions are for you to think about. They're not necessary for you to think about or reply and say, well, here's the answer. You don't have to reply to me, but it's a question that I want to make sure you think about. Have a great day. Before I leave, I bought this shirt, Volkswagen, again at a thrift shop for $1. Take care.